your predictions exactly go. Okay, so number one, and send the token. I got to mention that. I know you'll probably remember this during the, the the bear market, man. Nobody gave a shit about the incentive token except for me. I was constantly saying, you know, when incentive token, when incentive token, tokenomics, and then RH made a stream being like, ah, I don't give a shit about this thing, and then I stopped caring. But now everyone loves incentive token. I don't know why. It's the forever dump coin. Like guys, the in my hashtag opinion, Brandon B was right. Yeah, I, I was right. Like the only thing the incentive token has going for it is it being kind of related to the RH ecosystem. And, uh, you know, being kind of correlated uh, in the uh, LP uh, pools. But aside from that, it, there's a strong case for a lot of sell side pressure and not a lot of buy, pri buy pressure. It's kind of a similar, I don't want to say an exact, but it's, it's a similar criticism to Zen where there's a clear argument for a lot of sell pressure and not a lot of buy pressure. I mean, especially when you have better options such as Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex, I don't understand a rational reason why someone would click the buy button on incentive before Pulse Chain, uh, Pulse X and Hex. Now, again, there, there are some reasons people like, uh, you know, playing whale games, people like to diversify, you know, people like to, you know, be contrarian. There, so there are some reasons, but on the whole, it, it just does not make sense to me that there would be more buy pressure ever going towards, you know, uh, incentive rather than something like Pulse Chain. So, um, for me, whenever I, uh, you know, I'm providing liquidity, I immediately sell my uh, incentive every so often for something else I like. So that's just what I got to say with incentive. And I don't know why people are priori prioritizing it, but hey, I guess we need someone to hold, hold up the price. So thank you for your sacrifice. I, 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 I thought about it too, just as like, you know, just it feels like one of those things that's a result of the LP pool being so successful. And I know right now they're kind of like, oh, they're, you know, they're coming and going right now, but that much locking up it's kind of like what i think crypto sloth put it uh, when you buy incentive token it's like you're you're buying risk you're buying you're buying someone else's risk that they you know they put in the pools and and all that stuff too but like that being a to me it's almost like an indicator that of the health i don't know if this would be going forward i don't know if this is actually true but i feel like there's a place for it to be the indicator of health in the pulse x ecosystem at least of the pools of uh, people are valuing it because you know, it, they're they're getting it. Uh, there's only one way to get it: buy it off the market. And a lot of people don't want to buy it, so you got to provide LP, lock, get more coins. A lot of people will sell it. Maybe just roll it into more pulse and pulse X. It just it's like one of those. Uh, I, I don't know how to put my finger on 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 what it does and how important it is, but I know that it's it's become this incredible piece in the ecosystem. Uh, yeah, but you don't need to. R RH himself, like I was extremely disappointed with his answer. I remember he 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 was a live stream. People asked about it, and he was like, "Oh, incentive token, that thing." Um, yeah, no, I don't really. Uh, I haven't given much thought about the tokenomics. It's just well, well, maybe maybe he was like, because he said before, you know, I got all these tricks. I'm not going to reveal all my secrets and stuff like that. Nobody knew about the pulse. Uh, the the Genesis validators of Pulse Chain burning all their PLS either. Oh. sure 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 here okay the, yeah there might be some insane uh 3d chess level trickery but like at, at, would anyone here argue that at any point incentive token uh, will have uh more interesting or superior set of tokenomics than the hex pulse chain or pulse x is anyone really kind of saying that if you if you asked me that question three weeks ago i'd be like why are we talking about incentive token and now i'm like is there something uh there's something like because you know there's there's other actually third-party projects Again, this is not me like being super bullish on incentive token. I'm just like trying to think, was I missing something too? Is RH playing 4D chess and, and I'm playing 3D, you know, or 2D, all that stuff. There are people, you'll be able to stake your incentive token at some point, I've heard. Uh, you know, here, let me give you the the fun, most funny, not not natively, by the way, that's just through uh, Tetra, another community project, and maybe some other stuff too. But the most insane thing I've heard is incentive uh, for the will be the only coin for the wallet sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> and if that happens, Brandon B, I want you back on the show and we're going to have oh, the same conversation. I'd sure. Like, show me that green thing up and to the right that uh, may or may not ever happen uh, with the Senate token if it walk up that much all the supply. Wouldn't that be hilarious? You know, I'm very glad you brought up this argument because I'm, I'm going to uh, bring up uh, another point here that, that might be a little bit prickly. Well, this is the same argument essentially with Zen, where when Zen first came out, it was this, just a stupid inflationary token that had no tokenomics. But over time, and, and you know what? Same thing with Hatron as well. It was this just uh, token, just this forever dump token. But over time, some more interesting and interesting tokenomics were brought in, kind of changing the equation 
Um, and again, there's, there's nuances here in between Hadron design and whatever. Uh, well, I think for Hadron, it, it was, it was real. Like when it first came out, I was like, Oh, I can just mail this stuff. What I need, what I need it for anymore. And then all the, and Alex started building, building, building. So. Right. Right. So sure. Yeah. Look, if, if, if there's some insane in tokenomics later on that changes the equation, 100%, if things change, you need to reassess, uh, whenever you're presented new evidence, you need to, you know, reassess this, this whole investing thing, uh, you know, uh, the market doesn't give a shit about your emotions, cares about reality. Whenever you present a new evidence, you need to reassess. So 100%. If there's some insane tokenomics, things change, I'll reassess. But at the moment, given the knowledge we have at hand right now, um, if you ask me, if you, if I had dry powder and I have these four options, you know, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex, uh, and Incentive Token, uh, Incentive Token is at the bottom of the list in terms of where my buy pressure is going. And... Um, Again, the, you know, Brazology, I think maybe uh, I saw briefly a couple things you're saying. Maybe you disagree with me. Uh, if so, that, that's that's fine. We do need some buy pressure, so I appreciate your sacrifice. <laughs> but uh, but look, um, again, it is always interesting to have, uh, you know, a bit of an allocation towards a contrarian diversification play. Like, to be fair, to kind of talk about the other side of the argument here as well, you know, if Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex, are doing very well come you know six months bitcoin having 2025 then sure could incentive token benefit from the uh euphoria of the market benefit from the sentiment of the market 100 I, I could totally see that the case my whole thing my whole argument here is to simply uh pref preference incentive token uh in accumulating with your dry powder when you have the option of pulse chain when you have the option a pulse explode day one sack rate when you have a hex e, e hex putting in uh, a cycle or low here it just seems extremely strange to me to justify deploying that dry powder to incentive when you have these screaming opportunities in your face not even to mention some of the other uh projects launching you know i think fiat famous power city time not i'm not giving financial advice but these are just some interesting things happening on pulse chain in fact i would argue more interesting than incentive given all this wide range of options it just it does strike me as a bit funny to prefer accumulating incentive but hey could be wrong yeah it's it's i mean i personally i I've definitely prioritize the other coins more than incentive it's just been one of those pleasant surprises of like whoa this is definitely uh this is not nothing uh i don't, and I oh, don't yeah. think it'll be nothing going forward but i, what I agree yeah 